Hi everyone! Welcome to our second to last Stonehearth Desktop Tuesday. Today, let's talk a bit more about the Rabbit Clan we first mentioned a few weeks ago, and about a class we've long been excited to add to the game. The terrain modifying, ore vein growing, golem making, landmark growing geomancer. When you first start a game of Stonehearth, you may notice that the landscape is now dotted with strange landmarks. Flat low stones lie in the grass, and big stumps can appear in the forests, and sometimes, well, giant titan faces seem to appear in the landscape too. What is up with these mysterious ruins? Where did those rabbit statues come from anyway? Later, after your tier 2 hearth quest, you will receive your first hint of the existence of Clan Amberstone, our rabbit NPCs. If you follow this quest to its conclusion, you will win the trust of the rabbit people and attract rabbit immigrants. You may even gain a powerful weapon to use against the titan. If you're very persistent, you can even persuade the rabbits to teach you the ancient powers of the earth, geomancy. The geomancer's talisman is topped with amberstone, the substance that allows rabbits to continue to persist in the world long after their cycle has passed. With it, you can promote a hearthling to this ancient and powerful class. After creating the geomancer's workbenches, one for creating stones and one for creating golems, you'll soon discover that early stage geomancers can craft stones that when placed, extrude square hills of dirt, stone, and terrain into the world. Second level geomancers can build wet and dry stones of various sizes, allowing you to control the water in the world. Advanced geomancers can build golems, stone laborers that can help your hearthlings haul and mine. Because these golems are simpler than hearthlings, having no need to eat or sleep, they're also a great way to enhance your workforce without inviting further performance issues. This feature, one of my favorites, was originally mentioned during the Kickstarter and got a new lease on life when artist Ali drew pictures of how ancient rabbit society may once have worked, that giant carrots were ferried around by epic golems, as opposed to the shorter, rounder rabbit folk. The most advanced geomancers can plant spreading ore veins in the ground, allowing your hearthlings to harvest ever-increasing amounts of tin, copper, iron, silver, and gold. Finally, they can raise great and intricate landmarks from the earth as well, such as this beautiful geyser waterfall topped with trees. We hope that these landmarks help your towns grow even more unique and beautiful, and that they lend flavor to multiple playthroughs of the game. For those of you who've been around since the beginning, you may remember that creator Tom drew the first sketch of the Geomancer around the Kickstarter and colored her to serve as our Alpha 1 splash art. This last spring, artist Mally worked incredibly hard to merge Engineer Albert's terrain system with artist-authored cubicle models. His work, implemented for real by Max and aesthetically tuned by Ali, has brought Tom's original sketch to life. And that's it for this week! There will be one more normal Thursday stream this week at 6pm PST on www.twitch.tv forward slash stonehearth, one more Desktop Tuesday next week, and a final all-day stream celebrating all of your amazing creations on Thursday, 726. Many thanks to all of you who have commented and who persevere with us through this journey. See you next week!